what's going on YouTube, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on another new and exciting full Android smartwatch and this one has IP68 certification, supports Bluetooth phone calls, has a 4G LTE SIM slot and lots more. So this is the most awaited Cospet Brave and inside the box you will find a user manual, a screen protector, some spare screws for the SIM tray, a small tweezer, no idea why they provided a tweezer. You've got a SIM eject tool, a small screwdriver for the SIM tray, a magnetic USB charger, and last but not least, the smartwatch itself. So here it is guys, the Cospet Hope. I will put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. Now the design is quite standard. The watch body is made from plastic and on the front we have time markings going all the way around and a 1.39 inch IPS TFT display. Now the screen resolution is 240 by 240. Under the hood we have the MediaTek 6737 quad core CPU with two gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. Now there is also built in Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi and a 4G LTE nano SIM card slot. This is also running the full version of Android version 6 and it does support Bluetooth phone calls so I do look forward to testing out that feature. Now this watch has a 620 milliamp battery which promises two day standby or one day of normal usage. Furthermore this watch is IP68 waterproof so you can go swimming up to 1.5 meters underwater. Now let's talk about the watch dimensions. This is 51 millimeters in diameter and 17.2 millimeters in thickness and weighs 67 grams. Now the straps are 274 millimeters in length and 24 millimeters in width. Now the straps are made from silicon and the watch feels quite comfortable on the wrist and I'm quite pleased to say that you can remove and replace the straps quite easily. And to give you an idea of the size of this watch I will bring in the Samsung Galaxy watch. So this is how they fare side by side. You can see that they look roughly the same size but the Cospet actually has a larger screen and slightly larger bezels going all the way around and the Cospet is also a lot thicker. Now on the side of the watch we have a power button and a back button and on the other side we actually have our 4G LTE nano SIM tray which can be accessed by opening these two screws and I will quickly open them just to show you what the SIM tray looks like. So there's your SIM card slot. You simply slot the nano SIM card inside there and then you cover it up again. Now at the bottom of the watch we have our heart rate sensor and charger pins and I'll quickly test out the charger to show you what to expect. So you have a magnetic USB charger which simply goes on top and you can plug that into any source and this will be charged up quite quickly. The actual connection is magnetic. Um, it's not the most secure connection you can get. It can easily be pulled off now let's have a closer look at the watch face and the watch features. So here is your default watch face and if you'd like to change you just keep the center pressed and then you'll be presented with a rather large choice of different watch faces that you can instantly change to and I will now give you guys an example of all the selections currently available on this watch. So those were all the watch faces currently available on this watch and there is no option to download any more, unfortunately. So let's go through some of the features. If we swipe down from the top, you've got your battery, Wi-Fi, aeroplane mode, settings, alarms, etc. So basically you have some shortcuts there to some settings. Now if we swipe to the right, nothing happens. Now if we swipe up from the top, you will see your compass. So this does have a built-in compass. Okay, so nice to have a compass built into your watch. And if we swipe again to the right, you've got your step, calories, and distance all on one page. So let's go back. So if we swipe to the left, you have all your system apps and we'll go through them. You've got phone, Bluetooth call, setting, heart rate monitor, blood pressure monitor, multi-sports, sports history, weather, gallery, videos, 
audio center flashlight you've got the google play store so this does have the full version of the play store so you'll be able to download lots of free games and apps you've got watch manager web browser calculator calendar clock and your assistant so the first thing i'm excited to test out is bluetooth phone calls as this is a feature that we haven't seen working on any of the recent smartwatches so is it going to work on this one so i've already connected via bluetooth i've got everything set up and if I go to contacts, you will see that my contacts have automatically appeared from my phone. And we're just going to try dialing a customer service phone number. Let's see if it works. So you can hear it ringing directly Hello, on the watch. Please press one. Talk to us about a reason or whether a product is available. Please press one. Hi, I have a query about my delivery. Is this Argos customer service? Yeah. Say that again, sorry. Hi, I have a query for my delivery. Um, can you hear me clearly? Uh, it's a bit echoey. Uh, it's a... Okay. Sorry about this. Uh, yeah. Have you got an order number there? Um, I haven't got an order number. Can I give you a postcode? Okay, it's uh, Uniform Bravo. So Bluetooth phone calls does work absolutely fine. Your contacts do appear. I like that you have volume control as well. So you can turn the volume up and down whilst you're on a call. But the only thing is the guy I spoke to on the other end did say my voice was a bit echoey. So I'm not sure if I was entirely clear to him. Now, the next thing I like to test is the heart rate monitor. So it's testing, green lights on, let's put it on the wrist. So there you have my heart rate results and that actually seems quite accurate. So I'm pleased to see that. Next up, I want to test out the blood pressure monitor. So that's the result of the blood pressure monitor. Now I'm very skeptical if that's going to be accurate or not. I have no idea and no way of testing that because I haven't got a regular blood pressure monitor to compare it with. But anyway, that's the feature right there. It could be a gimmick or it could be accurate. Um, that remains to be seen. So now we're going to test out the performance of this watch. I have downloaded a few apps that we are going to test. So let's go ahead and begin with YouTube. Now let's try out some gaming. So now we're going to test out the screen on arm raise feature. So here we go. So as you can see, the screen on hand raising feature is very te temperamental. Most of the time it doesn't even work. And when it does work, you have like a two or three second delay. So the screen on hand raising feature is called lift wrist brightness. It's on, you may as well switch it off as it's not very good anyway. And if you want to tell the time, just press the button and it's probably quicker that way. So next up, I run a 30 minute on-screen test with Wi-Fi on, brightness set to medium and everything else off. And after 30 minutes, we ended up with a 90% battery. That is a 10% drop in 30 minutes, which basically translates to a 100% drop in five hours. So what that means is if you use this watch to tell the time and read notifications, then you can expect it to last around five hours. Of course, the more tasks you do in that time, the quicker the battery will drain. In the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 17 and upload speeds of 9 megabits per second. The watch was quite fast in finding an indoor GPS fix. And in the anti two benchmark test, we achieved 32K. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing smartwatch chart for 2019, showing you the latest smartwatches and seeing how they compare with each other. And as you can see, the Cosbit Brave has taken the bottom of the table with a rating of 4 out of 10. Stand by for the conclusion. Meanwhile, you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it, guys. That was the Cosbit Brave. So here are my thoughts on this device. This smartwatch took a few big steps forward by giving us Bluetooth phone calls and IP68 certification. But then for some strange reason, they decided to take some massive strides backwards and gave us a very bad overall quality smartwatch 
which is not as smart as we are used to seeing. So you can see my positives, but there's no point discussing them as the negatives completely outweigh the positives. You have a poor quality TFT screen, low resolution, and the text and graphics are a little on the grainy side and do not look great on that screen. You have no downloadable watch faces and the existing watch faces are actually dummies. None of the step counting or battery meters work on those watch faces. You have no gyroscope. Screen on hand raise feature basically does not work. The watch is thick and heavy. The loudspeaker distorts during phone calls and the microphone is also not very clear. Bottom line, this appears to be an unfinished project. On paper, the watch sounds great, but after practically using it, I can confirm it is officially the worst full Android smartwatch I have ever tested and a thorough and total disappointment. Now I love tech and I don't make these videos for jokes. I make them to genuinely help people. You can expect brutal honesty in my videos. I actually try to select products which I think will be great quality and worth the money. And most of the time the products I select are top notch. But sometimes this happens and at least you guys know you are going to get my honest opinion. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.